President Obama is setting up for another tough battle, this time with big business. He's unveiling plans today to overhaul the nation's financial regulatory system. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has details for us. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Maggie. What the president is proposing today doesn't shake things up as much as some people had wanted, but it is still the biggest change in financial oversight in 70 years, and it's certain to be controversial. We have to make sure that we've got a updated regulatory system that hasn't been significantly changed since the 1930s. The president wants Congress to give the Federal Reserve Bank power to supervise the largest financial institutions and to take over any company whose failure threatens the economy. He's calling for tougher regulations for financial firms, higher capital requirements, and regulation of the new financial instruments known as derivatives. And the president wants a new consumer financial protection agency with the power to supervise banks and credit card companies and to crack down on deceptive practices. I think the Federal Reserve is going to end up being the uber regulator. Uh, it is the best positioned uh, among all the regulators to do the best job. But Mr. Obama will face significant opposition in Congress from Democrats as well as Republicans, some of whom call the increased regulation a risk to the economy. We need smart regulation. We don't necessarily mean more regulation. And in fact, I believe that we've had much too much emphasis on government lately and not as much emphasis on people. The president says he knows that passing this will be a heavy lift. Now, today, the president also fulfills a campaign promise. He is signing a memorandum this afternoon which orders health care benefits for federal workers, domestic partners, and that includes same-sex partners. Maggie? CBS's Bill Plant at the White House. Thank you, Bill. Joining us now, also from Washington, is Christina Romer. She is the chair of the White House Council of Economic Advisors. Dr. Romer, good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. Thanks for being here. For the people at home wondering, how will this help me? Can you give us a nutshell answer in layman's terms, please? Absolutely. I think there, there are two crucial things it will do. One, it's going to make our economy, our financial institutions more stable. That is uh, a big goal of the president. You've seen really a theme the last several weeks of the new foundation, sort of coming through this crisis stronger and healthier. Uh, health reform is part of that. Financial regulatory reform is part of that, to really make it so that our financial institutions uh, are more, you know, are less risky, more stable. So that's going to be crucial for all of us because we know that financial crises are terrible for the overall economy. And then for individuals, the new Consumer Financial Protection Agency is really going to take all of those consumer regulations and put them into one place so that there's one agency whose only job it is is to watch out for consumers, the deceptive practices, uh, transparency, making sure there's a plain vanilla option, uh, even when they're more complicated ones. All of that's going to be great for the consumer. But this all comes with a lot of government government intervention, which the president said yesterday, is not ideally what he would like to be doing. And that reminded me of when GM, uh, the government took a majority stake in GM, and he said that he was a reluctant shareholder. He's talking like somebody whose hands are tied. He sounds like he's being forced to do these things. If he believes that big government is actually a bad thing, why doesn't he at least try less intrusive options, which are certainly being offered up? You know, the crucial thing is that the status quo can't remain. What we've seen from the crisis. But why not start less crisis, aggressively? Yeah, I think the the truth is we are striking a. Uh, a a really appropriate balance. We are not bulldozing the whole system. We're very much starting with the regulatory structure we have and improving it. The other thing that's important, uh, you know, you mentioned uh, using less intrusive. Well, one of the key things that the president's going to be talking about are higher capital requirements. That's a very sensible kind of market-based uh, market, uh, approach that says, uh, let's make sure that the firms making decisions have money on the table so that they don't take excessive risks so that they are there to absor uh, absorb the first lo losses, and that's incredibly important. Dr. Romer, you said it's not a bulldozer, but it is the most sweeping reform in 70 years. How can the consumer feel confident in entrusting such a controversial proposal when, for example, the president conceded yesterday that unemployment will hit 10 percent when the administration had predicted that if we pass this stimulus, it wouldn't go over 8 percent? You know, the, the crucial thing is uh, the consumer, when you mention the, the, what may happen to the unemployment rate, one of the crucial things that we know caused the mess that we're in now is lax financial regulation, 
firms falling through the gap, the fact that we don't have resolution authority now, so we have a big firm like AIG that gets into trouble, we don't have the tools for dealing with it. So the crucial thing is to actually make sure we don't face this kind of crisis again. That's the number one thing that's going to be good for American families and the whole American economy. Certainly everyone is hoping. Christina Romer, thank you so much.